Toyota says its next generation electric cars will have small battery packs with over 1,000 kilometers or 600 plus miles of range. Now, not just Toyota, by the way, this is Toyota and Lexus. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Toyota has made some pretty decent claims over the past uh, 10 years, but let's just focus on the last few days. Solid state batteries, small battery packs, a lot of power, massive range, extremely fast charging, 10 minute fast charging apparently, manual gearboxes, they're not real by the way, stick shift, they're pretend, but hey, could be fun though, right? The Lexus LFZC concept debuted at the Japan Mobility Show last week and well, when it goes into production in 2026, which is what, two years away, it will be the first electric vehicle on a new ground up Toyota platform, could use gigacasting for the body. Toyota has already purchased gigacasting machines to make vehicles in a similar way to what Tesla does. And apparently it will have the company's steer by wire technology plus 620 miles of range, 620 miles of range using not a massive battery pack guys, but a small battery pack. I'm curious to know how many people believe these claims from Toyota. If they are true, it would be a game changer. This would wreck the industry. It would be just, you know, Tesla's stock price would, of course, come down significantly. I don't mean a little bit. I mean, 80 plus percent, more than likely. I mean, for example, Tesla's worth more than seven times more than BYD. It would have a huge effect on the entire industry. However, Toyota says it's going to rely on advanced chemistry to achieve those big range claims. And it says that there will be a number of vehicles across its entire lineup that will use those battery packs. It won't just be Lexus vehicles, it will be Toyota as well. Recently, Toyota unveiled a number of electric car concepts. We don't know which of these will be real, which of them are just concepts, but Toyota has suggested that some of these vehicles will be vehicles you can buy in 2026. So I don't know which of those they are, but they did say one thing. These batteries will come in a number of cars, not just Lexus, and they will have more than a thousand kilometers of range. I think they suggested around 620 miles. So yeah, just over 1,000 kilometers of range. That's on America's EPA testing cycle. So that's not a CLTC Chinese cycle. That's basically close to real world. Not exactly the same, but pretty close to it. Now, if Toyota did bring out vehicles with this kind of range, it would completely cannibalize its own sales of its other cars. Because, I mean, who in their right mind would buy any other gasoline, pe diesel, petrol powered car from Toyota? It'd just be mental. I mean, think about it, right? You walk into a dealership, you can buy uh, a Toyota SUV with a thousand kilometers of range, can charge your batteries in 12 minutes, uh, has a solid state battery pack. And you go, no, 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 thanks, I'll buy that old um, I don't know, Toyota Kluger, Toyota RAV4, which uses a petrol engine that's really not that different from their engines from 1985. It's not really that different, to be fair. You'd have to be crazy to do that. I think their demand would stretch out for about 30 years if these vehicles do exist. But keep in mind, they did say they make these claims in 2015 about the cars that they'll be making in 2020. So we don't know yet if this is true. However, Lexus's president, Takashi Watanabe, said, if we had 1,000 kilometers, what would become possible? It's a statement of our development technology establishing that standard. Within the development process, we need to set up one kind of target, one kind of goal, or else everything else doesn't fall into place. I'm not sure what he meant by that, but he said, the battery pack would be an 80 kilowatt size battery, 80 kilowatt battery that will give you 1,000 kilometers of range. Now. The Chirin battery right now is the highest energy density battery in the world, CATL, the world's biggest battery company, make that battery. And unlike commenters, guys, please don't listen to these commenters who are saying the Chirin battery doesn't exist. It does. It's actually, you can buy it today. Right now, this minute, walk into, fly over to China, you can buy one of the cars. There's a number of cars that come with that battery already now. So it does exist. It is real. However, to get a vehicle, an EV in China that will give you a thousand kilometers of range, well... CLTC, that is, you need a pretty big battery pack. You need a battery pack around 120 kilowatt hours. So you need a much bigger battery pack than what Toyota is saying, then you EVs will have. An 80 kilowatt size pack, giving this kind of range, would be 
absolutely mind-blowing. It would completely change everything. He said, if we can get 1,000 kilometers out of this car, we're going to slap more batteries in it and we're going to be heavier and more expensive. There is no technical challenge involved with that. So we're planning on making the batteries smaller and lighter and giving you this kind of range. And Toyota have actually made these claims a few times over the past couple of months. They've actually, in fact, said that numerous vehicles would have this kind of range. Now, the question here is, guys, do you need that kind of range? Would you want a car? Would that be something you need? 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles of range. Is that what you're after? Personally, I don't think that's necessary for me. I think for me, ideal, the ideal number might be, say, 450 miles. But the only thing is, if you can charge your, your vehicle at, say, 250 kilowatt charging speed, I don't think you really even need that. Anyhow, in Japan, Toyota elaborated on its battery development strategy that it unveiled in September. To show where it wants to go, Toyota used its current Panasonic-made lithium-ion 64 kilowatt hour batteries, which get up to 615 kilometers of range, according to Toyota, I'm not sure this is correct, but according to Toyota, on the CLTC rating system as a baseline. Toyota said those batteries can fast charge from 10 to 80% in 30 minutes. But future Toyota batteries will include next generation prismatic performance lithium ion batteries with twice as much range as the BZ4X, a 20% cost reduction overall, and take only 20 minutes to charge from 10 to 80%. So this is not even solid state batteries that they're saying other EVs will have. They're actually saying that their prismatic batteries will be the best that anyone has invented ever. We haven't seen any company with even theoretical numbers like this We're using prismatic cells. They're saying just using simple prismatic cells that most of the EV industry, to be honest, have moved on from, um, will give you incredible numbers here, 20 minutes to charge an energy density that is absolutely staggering. Hopefully these claims are true. I mean, if they are, then this will absolutely speed up EV adoption drastically. Toyota is also working to improve those batteries energy density and use new packaging like relocating terminals in order to improve the actual volumetric energy density. Toyota seeks to launch a popular version of those batteries that also use cheaper lithium ion phosphate cells um, in order to make more affordable EVs. Those LFP batteries are targeted to be 20% better than BYD's batteries today and 40% cheaper while giving a similar 30 minutes to fast charge. How does Toyota plan on getting there? Well, honestly, no one actually knows. They haven't revealed any specific details on the chemistry, um, what they've done exactly to get these incredible numbers. They're said to use though more compact bipolar structure than today's monopolar batteries with a high nickel cathode on the performance versions. But no one knows in terms of their LFP versions how they plan on becoming 20% better than BYD is today. And of course, being able to charge so much faster than a BYD blade battery. Eventually though, Toyota's goal is to use solid state batteries across its entire range. This, it believes, will help it dominate the entire automotive industry and basically destroy Tesla. That's what they plan on doing. Um, They plan on taking back their kind of mantle as the world's EV leader. They believe they were the EV leader back in, I don't know, when the hybrid Prius came out. That's what they claim was the first EV. And therefore, they think that it's their right to take that leadership back. They claim they have all the best engineers working for them on their batteries and then their future EVs and that they will in fact catch up and definitely uh, easily slaughter Tesla. Now, it remains to be seen if this is true, but at least it does mean that Toyota is taking EVs seriously. At least it does mean that they plan on ramping up and they have decided to invest around $13 billion in a battery plant and EV factory in the United States. So whilst it has been, they have been, vocally criticizing EVs, they're kind of quietly working hard to try and bring out some amazing products. Hopefully um, this isn't bluster, hopefully it's true. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.